Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Bob Hoffman from the Master Circle, and we're getting ready. We're about two months out to our amazing super conference in Orlando, Florida, September 22nd to 24th. Twelve amazing world-class speakers, but today is our absolute keynote speaker, the star of the entire event. This individual I'm going to introduce you to is the number one sought-after speaker in the chiropractic profession right now around the globe. She is an amazing chiropractor, an absolutely superb clinical researcher, and she is proving what we do like no one has ever done before. I'd like to welcome on to today's interview, Dr. Heidi Havick. Welcome on, Heidi. Thank you so much, Bob. It's a pleasure to be here. I can't wait to come to Orlando. Really looking forward to it. Thank you. And we're looking forward to having you. All the members and the guests that are registering are all excited to meet you. Let's start in, in a basic place. Spend a minute or so telling us how did you get into chiropractic, when and where did you graduate, and how did that transition into the world of research? Right, well, um, I'm actually a third generation chiropractor. My great grandfather was one of the first uh, thousand chiropractors ever to graduate from Palmer College. So I think I was destined to become a chiropractor. Uh, the rest of my family were all medical professionals, so I had a real background in science to begin with. Yes. Um, I came out to visit New Zealand as a 20 year old, and that's now oh, 22 years ago. And I, um, I met up with my uncle and aunt, who are chiropractors in New Zealand, and the New Zealand College had just started. So I just fell in love with it and started, and that was the end of that. Um, I didn't have much experience in chiropractic myself, so that sort of started when I came out here to New Zealand. Um, but as I went through the program, I had this amazing science lecturer, Dr. Bernadette Murphy, who's now Professor Bernadette Murphy, and uh, she's in Canada. And uh, she answered all my um, painful questions, if you know what I mean. Yes. <laughs> I could never get enough. I couldn't understand it. I started to experience it for myself, um, and, and I could see all these changes, and I couldn't explain why. So after I finished and I graduated and I started practicing, I had uh, a little baby boy at this stage, I wanted to continue, and I wanted to help Bernadette Murphy. So I uh, started doing some postgraduate research with Bernadette, mm -hmm. uh, and um, had no ambitions with research other than being her research assistant. I was going to volunteer one day a week, and I knew to do that well, I needed a PhD. So Bernadette was training me up uh, to do my PhD. Um, and then just before I finished my PhD, she up and left the country. <laughs> so then I had the choice. I could either continue with research. Um, I couldn't continue with research or I'd have to leave and, and go somewhere else. Or I could take the job at the New Zealand College as their research director. So I did. So it's a kind of a, uh, it wasn't planned. I think it was innate's plan for me, to I be was perfectly just honest. Say, more divine intervention just leading you where you needed to be. And it's just taken over my life, and oh my God, I love it. I'm uh, one of those brains that really needs to understand. But, but I seem to have both because I really love practicing. I love practicing, and I always call that a right brained affair. It's, uh, you don't think so much, you know, it's more uh, you feel and you're connected with the patient and it's, it's that art, you know? You so it's, uh, it's trying to understand what that art really is that when we really get those wonderful effects, but using proper, thorough, uh, real hardcore neuroscience methods. You know, what you said is so important, Heidi, because I think probably at least 80, if not 100% of our colleagues around the world have the same issue. They can't answer some of the questions. Some things don't seem to make sense. Some things seem to be out of alignment with their beliefs and their reality. Some of them bury that down and pretend it's not there. Some of them get on a quest and try to find those answers. And uh, the fact that you dug in and did it through research and answered so many of those questions that quite frankly as a profession we've struggled to answer for 120 years. God bless you. God bless you. Thank, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. So it's it's been a lot of hard work, I can tell you that, but it's so exciting to see that there are other possible ways now to explain the effects of chiropractic that are actually congruent with current neuroscience. I mean, it just gets it's so exciting. Yeah. Actually, it's it's neuroscience, it's research, it's technology has finally caught up. 
so that we can explain and prove logically what we do and how amazingly powerful it really is. Yeah, and I've never really been interested in trying to prove anything. I've just been extremely interested because, I mean, the proof's in the pudding. The proof's, you can see it in front of you every day in practice, but I really just wanted to understand how does it work. So I never really had any preconceived ideas of what it should be or what the answers were. Or, and half the times I've, I've discovered things by not finding what I, was <laughs> what I was looking for, which to me is actually, as a scientist, is wonderful because you know then that you haven't influenced it. You've just been given the actual real facts, if you know what I mean. So it's, it's such an exciting journey, and I, and I hope to share that in a, in a way that's not too, um, not too technical. I usually promise I will not use technical words. It will be clinically relevant. Even students should understand everything I talk about. That's awesome. So in your t you have two different presentations at Super Conference in Orlando. The first one is called The Neuroplasticity Model of Healing. Could you just yep. give us a, a little snippet about that to kind of whet people's appetite? Well, that, that, that talk is, is, uh, means a lot to me because it's, it's the theory that I was even allowed to study um, the effects of chiropractic on the central nervous system at Auckland University. So I had to really scratch the bottom of the barrel to find anything that would give me a um, scientific, plausible explanation for how chiropractic care could affect the nervous system. So it's um, since then, of course, we've had like 16 years now of showing time and time again that this really does seem to be the model of how chiropractic works. The cool thing about it is very, very similar to the old theories from 120 years ago, but it does have a subtle little twist. But should we give that away or should we no, sort we, of... No, uh, we shouldn't give it away. But nah, not only is it so. connected to our history and our heritage because the Palmers were a century ahead of their time, but Unbelievable. It's, but it's different than what most of our colleagues think and believe and talk about every day in practice. It is. Yep. It is. And that's the cool part because it doesn't, it's actually a more powerful story than the original story. And I know you know it because you're smiling like that. Yeah, yeah. And, it, it and is, it's let, more let do... profound and powerful than we could have even ever thought. Yep. And I'll, I'll do a little infomercial for you. Amazing book. Every chiropractor should read it and understand it and talk about it in their office. Reality Check by Dr. Heidi Havick our keynote speaker at Super Conference 2016 this year. Um, Heidi, I think the neuroplasticity model is the ultimate model that answers so many of our questions, but there's something even more important. I found it gives the doctors who get this so much more clarity and certainty and confidence so that they become such a better communicator and as a result, their potential new patient conversion goes through the roof. Their patient mm -hmm. compliance to follow their schedule of care goes through the roof. Their clinical results goes through the roof. And they're often running to become a huge success in the profession. But it mm -hmm. starts with the big why. Why yeah. what we do works so important. How does it work? How simple and profound it is. And how it really changes the game for our patients rapidly and forever once we apply it properly. Yeah, 100%. You're and we've also spent the last 15 years now, Bob, um, um, I've tried to, to, to convey it. It's like you're saying those guys that get it, right? And, it's, and I'd say a lot of that fault was me, that I, I, couldn't, I couldn't communicate it in the early days. I had I have very good friends of mine that, that would come up to me after having listened to me three, four, five times and they'd say, I love listening to you, Heidi, but I still don't understand a word you just said. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but now, after 15, 16 years of doing this and teaching the poor students at the New Zealand College of Chiropractic, we finally have, have come to a, uh, found a way to communicate this in, in, a, in a language that even, you know, my 93-year-old grandmother understood. And so... You know, if, if you're worried that, you know, you don't understand neuroscience or you're not a neuroscientist, you don't have to worry about that anymore. We really have managed to break it down. We take it bit by bit. And that's, I suppose, the, the highlight of the second talk, that I'll, I'll talk about the studies that we did, but then I'll also immediately convert it into a language that, that any chiropractor or student or, or even, even your CAs can actually use in everyday language to, 
to, to convey this information to the public. Beautiful. Before we get to the second talk, I also want to point out that for our colleagues watching and listening to this, we've all heard researchers before. And they tend to be profound and helpful and boring as hell and talking <laughs> over our head and dry. I can assure you that Dr. Havik is not like that. I've had the privilege and the pleasure to hearing, hearing you present live and you are entertaining and engaging and you, you speak what I like to refer to as street right down to shoulder level and people love it and they learn and they laugh and they get it. You are, a, maybe it's because of who you are, maybe it's because of all these years of teaching and training and presenting, You've gotten it down to an art form, my friend. <laughs> you, must, you must have heard me recently then, right? <laughs> I have, actually. I have. And, and before we get into this class, I just want to, for those people listening and watching to this, if you go to www.superconference2016.net is all the information you need, the speaking agenda for Thursday all afternoon, all day Friday, all day Saturday, You'll see that Dr. Havik is speaking on Thursday and Saturday. You'll see all the other speakers, all the other topics. The theme of Super Conference is the power to heal. And the reason we selected that topic is because there is no better way to consistently grow your chiropractic practice, make a bigger income and a bigger impact than consistently getting great clinical results. And the speakers we've selected this year, including Dr. Havik, are all going to be addressing that and helping you instantly, as soon as you get back to your practice Monday, produce better results more often, more consistently, so you can grow your practice like never before. Some of you may want to call for more information. You can call us at 800-451-4514 or 516-822-5500. And you can always email me directly, bob at themasterscircle.net. Heidi, your second class is called Beyond a Doubt, Adjusting the Spine Changes Brain Function. And for me, this one excites me even more. I can't wait to hear the first one. But I've been teaching brain-based chiropractic and brain-based wellness and how the adjustment normalizes and maximizes brain function. I've been talking about that and documenting it and even creating a practice model around it. Um, typically in the master circle, our members have grown about 30% a year. But once we started teaching about brain-based wellness and created the new model of practice around it, that number went up to 40, 45% a year, which is really remarkable. It's off the charts. So talk a little bit about beyond the doubt how adjusting the spine changes brain function. Well, this was an interesting one. This is one of those ones that I wasn't actually expecting when I started out. Because when I started out, we were looking for um, spinal uh, nerve uh, effects. But one of the first studies that I did in my PhD research was, was a, um, a method called somatosensory evoked potentials. We won't worry about the big words, but we were basically stimulating <clears throat> the mixed nerve in, at the wrist, the median nerve, and we were recording how that um, package of information was processed in the central nervous system. So we were looking for effects at the spinal cord level, but we didn't find any. We then looked at the brain stem and the cortex because that was part of the method, not because we were actually really looking for it. Mm. And we found, again, nothing in the brain stem, but these really significant and large changes at the cortical level. So we were like looking at this going, Oh my God, it doesn't mean that there aren't changes at the spinal cord level, but what I'm talking about that these were lasting changes in the brain, not the spinal cord and not the brainstem. So from that, we've, this was like, you know, this was back in the early 90s, so um, late 90s, sorry, early 2000s. So that started a whole, you know, 15, 16 years of research where we changed the focus, we would still look at spinal cord, but time and time again, we would find we didn't change that. There were no major significant lasting changes until very recently. But again and again and again, using different methods in different professors' labs, non-chiropractic scientists' laboratories, we showed again and again and again, when we adjusted the spine, we changed brain function. And that's why, in the end, after I'd now done this one uh, last study that we did in Denmark, where we had whole head EEG, 
and we showed again this is where no chiropractor had touched the data at all we hadn't done the recording we hadn't done the analysis the only thing we did as chiropractors was adjust the spines of the subjects obviously and design the study and we showed it again and it was like the fourth time I'd published the same finding I'd also done it in so many different methods that I finally came out after <laughs> 16 years and said look it's beyond a doubt now it's it's just ridiculous it's beyond a doubt when we adjust spines we change brain function exactly where in the brain again I was I'm, I'm super excited to share but I think we'll I'll, I'll try and contain my excitement until <laughs> until I get there because it has such a big impact on what we do in practice every day and I think that's something that every single chiropractor on the planet should know about absolutely and that's what we should be communicating and teaching our patients and our community the cortical function is the executive function it's being able to think clearly it it has so many essential values in our life it it's how we've evolved it, it, it's the newer brain not the hind brain that we're talking about here and to be able to modify that, improve that, enhance that is just a game changer, isn't it? Unbelievable. And there's so many new avenues now, like the, the research has really only just begun because it's now it gets exciting. It's now there's so much that can be done and so many questions that we can answer that finally could sort of explain pretty much everything we've ever really seen in the last 120 years in practice. And that's when it gets to me really really exciting when what the clinician sees and what the scientist is finding when they marry up beautifully then then I just get the shivers I feel like I'm really really onto something you know that's you know if, if we if what we as scientists are finding doesn't match what you're seeing in practice then something's wrong correct you and, know what I mean yep and what most people who aren't in research myself included will never appreciate is how your research over the years has been squashed edited, um, diluted, how you've argued with other researchers, how you've argued with medical professionals to get your research finally printed in peer-reviewed journals, which you've done a lot of, more than most anybody else in the history of our profession. You've had to go to battle. You've had to stand up for your principles and be able to talk about your research and explain it in a way that they get it and understand it. You've got to go back and reproduce it to prove it to them again that it wasn't just a, a, a an accident or an outlier in your your results. And I got to tell you, I, I am so impressed with who you are and what you've accomplished. You know, I had not heard of you until about three or four years ago when a dear mutual friend of ours, Dr. Jerry Klum, said to me, you got to look into this Dr. Havik. She is the next hot star in the profession. And then uh, maybe a year and a half later, I saw your book out. It wasn't actually out. You were doing pre-book sales. And I was one of the first people to go online to order it in advance. And then we got to meet each other. And I am a huge fan. And I know everybody who comes to Super Conference is instantly going to become major players in your fan club, Heidi. Because... <laughs> You need to show them what we do, how profound it is, what the research now says without a doubt, unequivocally, how it affects brain function, how it generates better and more complete healing, how to adjust people more efficiently and effectively to create that brain function improvement. These are the, this is the, this is the holy grail of chiropractic. And to have a researcher come who for 20 years has been teaching this, documenting it, working at it, proving it, having it reproduced in peer review journals, off the charts, just off the charts. <laughs> I'm excited. And I know anybody who's watching this, listening to this, I hope you'll register. I hope you'll come to Super Conference. It's going to be an amazing three days of growth. You'll be in a, a, a really powerful, loving, positive energy field, something all of us chiropractors desperately need. It's kind of like taking your cell or mobile phone and putting it back in the charger so it's it's full and complete again. It's an amazing networking opportunity, and there are other phenomenal speakers. But you, Heidi, Dr. Heidi Havik, you are our keynote speaker. We're so happy that we were able to arrange our schedules. and Because you, you travel. You just got back home. You've been on the road for like, 
uh, months, literally months. God bless you. And um, we're all excited. I, I'm sure you have a couple of uh, parting comments of, of what you want to share with people at Super Conference and why people should attend. Well, thanks, Bob. Uh, <laughs> I feel I feel a little bit humbled now, but uh, and I'm not the only scientist that has had to fight really, really hard. I'd say those guys that have come before me that have that have put in all the hard work to even enable me to do what I've been doing as well. So it's not just me, but <clears throat> I'm really, really excited about coming myself. There's a few speakers that I haven't heard that are on your list that I'm really looking forward to. There's some old friends of mine that I can't wait to catch up with. There's a few uh, research studies I want to plan with a few of your speakers, <laughs> uh, and so I'm really excited about that. But the, I suppose the two key things that um, I hope your um, your people will will uh, take away from from uh, my talk there is a, a way to communicate how chiropractic works that's now actually up to date with the science, congruent with the science, that opens up to such amazing possibilities that, as you said, the clarity and the confidence in what we do just skyrockets. And the other way, uh, the other thing to, that I hope that your um, people will take away from uh, at least my talk is being able to understand exactly how spinal function impacts the brain. And this has got obviously a profound impact on their patients in everyday life. Yep. So and I can't wait to get there. Really looking forward to it. And, and this changes the conversation in practice. It changes how we approach educating the patient and engaging the patient. It changes how we adjust them. It changes our recommendations. It changes everything. And it just, it, th this to me, Heidi, is the next evolution in chiropractic. I hope so. Yeah, I, I'm certain of it. I am certain of it. And um, I think this whole issue of neurologically based, brain based chiropractic is the new gold standard that is about to take hold. Um, everyone I know who's talking about it, teaching it, practicing it is doing awesome. And everywhere I go and speak, I'm sure this is your experience too, the audiences just soak it up because it makes so much sense to them. It's yeah. the missing piece of, of what they were missing earlier that they couldn't connect to what we talked about earlier in our conversation, that they're right. excited about it. Um, yeah. And uh, they're going to be excited to hear you and experience you and spend the weekend with you. So thank you again. I shall for try to behave myself. Uh, you don't have to try to behave. Thank you for accepting our invitation. I want you to rest up a Thanks little bit, recharge me. your batteries over these next couple of weeks and travel safe. We look forward to seeing you in Orlando for Super Conference, September 22nd to 24th. Again, you can go to www.superconference2016.net for more information. You can email me, bob at themastercircle.net. Happy to correspond with you. We'd love to have you there. If you're serious, I mean serious, about fully understanding what chiropractic's about, about growing your practice as big as you want to, about making as much of a difference as possible, since you've been called to be a chiropractor, you owe it to yourself to come to Super Conference. Dr. Heidi Havick, you have a great day. I love and appreciate you, my friend.